What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick review of this foot massager mat. Uh, in this video I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about this device, including one thing I think you should know before buying. So I got this foot massager mat uh, for one simple reason. So I uh, am pretty active throughout the day um, and oftentimes I'll get like a restless leg syndrome uh, when I'm trying to sleep. So I don't know if you, any of you have dealt with that. I mean, there's a number of reasons why you could use something like this. Um, but this for me has really been focused on trying to help me uh, alleviate those issues because it really makes it hard to sleep at times uh, overall. So this has actually been really, really helpful for that. And I'll show you exactly how it works here in a second. But talking about the foot massager, so it's actually pretty interesting. So it comes with this little remote control, which controls this. Uh, and then this is obviously where your feet go. And then it has uh, these as well. I don't use these, but basically these are the gel pads that, you know, muscle um, relaxing systems, if you will, can, can use. So essentially what you do is you uh, attach the cord that white cord over to here, and then you can use these in addition. So if you're looking to stimulate like your calves or thighs or something while you're also doing this, you can. Again, I don't use those. Uh, I haven't ever used them. Don't really need them. This was really, for me, it was really for feet and that took care of the issue. So first thing, when you get it, it's gonna come, this is gonna be detached. So this is how it's going to come. And essentially all that you need to do is take these two little things here and attach them to the buttons. Okay, so after you have it attached, basically you can press any of these buttons to, uh, well, the plus buttons rather, to turn it on. Uh, so you see the blue lights go on. You can also just use this control uh, to turn it, obviously there's an off and on here. So that's definitely preferred. I'll show you this working in a second, but I just wanted to show you with my hand because it's kind of hard to see, you know, with my feet, it's hard to see, but with my hand, you'll actually see the muscles twitching and stuff because uh, it's not all that easy to see, but I'll show you. So the interesting thing, so we're gonna turn this up to four. Well, first off, there's different modes. So you can see they have knead, scraping, pressure, uh, acupoint, cupping, activate, and shape. We'll just keep it a massage. And then you set up the resistance. I'm gonna put it on four. And I'm gonna show you with my hand again, it works well on the feet. I'm only showing you with my hand just because I want you to see it actually working. So when we do this, well, it will also turn off if uh, for safety if no one's using it. So when we do this, so I'm gonna show you. Okay, do you see my thumb? Let me see if I can get something over here. And the hallway, you can hear the clicking too. Hopefully you can hear that on here. But this really does work. It feels very, very strange at first. Um, but the good thing is this doesn't do anything. This doesn't do anything right? You have to have two points connected. So basically it knows you've got to have a connection here and a connection here, which is obviously both your feet, in order for this to work. Um, the other thing is you can turn this, this uh, you know, the resistance much, much higher. I don't really want to do that on my hand because it's not like, I mean, it's not comfortable on my hand. My hand's not really built for this thing. I mean, it really is for feet, right? So I don't want to do it with my hand. It might be uncomfortable. Um, but for feet, this works really, really well. The highest I've ever gone to is about five. I don't prefer that it goes really high. It can go really, really high. I believe it goes up to, I had to check. It actually goes up to 19. So I keep it on five, right? Um, but 19 would be quite a shock. So I keep it on five uh, when I'm using it on my feet and again, on my hand. So it's so hard to show this. But again, hopefully you can hear that noise. All right, so just watch your video and you can hear the clicking. That's actually the electrical pulse going through my hand, right? So, um, so yeah, this does really work. If you're wondering like, eh, is this thing a scan? Does it really send electrical impulses? It really does, you guys. Uh, it's actually pretty strong too. Like I said, I only keep it at five, um, but that brings me to the things I think you should know. So first off, when you're using this, Start low with the resistance. I can't imagine if I pushed it all the way up to like 19 as highest, that'd probably be pretty uncomfortable. Um, so I obviously don't do that. Uh, but I think that's the first thing. The second thing to know, I don't buy into all this. I mean, if you do, great. Uh, this, All these little things here, that's not something that I really buy into. Generally speaking, I'll just put the mode on, sorry, I'll put it on the first one. I'll just put it on massage and I'll put it at five on my feet and I'll run it twice a day is usually what I do and that has taken care of my restless, restless leg syndrome. I just don't get those issues anymore. So yeah, if you're wondering if this works, helps improve circulation and everything, I mean, you can really, really feel the shock. It really does work. Not to an uncomfortable point, but this genuinely does work. 
good product. I've used it for a while. I like the safety features of it. Uh, we have a little daughter, so, you know, she somehow turned this on and was grabbing this or something. We could grab it away quick enough. But uh, yeah, overall, this is a really good product. I've really enjoyed it here for quite some time and hopefully you do too.